regard to my expectations of the budget speech and with specific reference to the VAT rate and whether it will increase, I believe there's a variety of issues that need to be considered before even touching on that topic. Um, starting off, the minister commissioned Judge Davis to inv investigate a whole host of tax issues, and the Davis Tax Review Committee was formed to uh, address these issues and investigate them. And one of the issues was uh, VAT and the efficiency of VAT and whether there should be a dual rate system introduced. Dual rate system being a multi-tier VAT rate system with the objective of introducing a higher VAT rate to um, tax luxury goods. Now in terms of the VAT uh, system in South Africa, we already have what's referred to as an ad valorem uh, tax system. So in layman's terms, think of it as a tax on luxury goods. So if the South African system already has a, a, play, a procedure in place to tax luxury goods, it seems a little bit nonsensical to introduce a multi-tier VAT rate system to uh, tax luxury goods. Coupled with that, you then move on to whether the standard rate, the VAT rate of 14%, should be increased. This has been a very topical issue over the last uh, few budget uh, speeches, and every year there's a lot of predictions whether it will be increased or if it won't be increased, especially as the VAT rate has remained the same for the last 20 years. But again, there's a lot of variety of issues that need to be examined in this regard, and one of the primary reasons why people want to introduce the uh, or increase the VAT rates is because it's seen as an easy way to uh, collect more tax revenue, especially uh, in light of the deficits. But it's very difficult to, to just go ahead and increase the VAT rate before you've done a proper study, and especially an empirical uh, study, to assess whether you really need to increase the VAT rate. What a lot of countries have been doing around the world is uh, performing what's referred to as a VAT gap study. And this, is a, this assesses whether the government is collecting the VAT revenue that it is supposed to be collecting, or whether there are any inefficiencies in the system from an administrative point of view. Now, if there are inefficiencies from an administrative point of view, you know, you might be losing VAT that you should actually be collecting. And if you address the administrative inefficiencies, you might end up collecting the, that additional VAT revenue that you would otherwise get by increasing the VAT rate. So to sum up, um, our prediction is that the VAT rate will not increase with this upcoming budget speech and especially before the Davis uh, committee have released an interim report regarding some of these VAT issues.